Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I'll be going to explain you the basic comparison of Von Neumann and Howard architecture. I have already explained Howard architecture and Von Neumann architecture with separate videos, but I have seen many questions are coming in competitive examinations like GATE, ISRO, BARC related basic fundamentals of Howard and Von Neumann architecture. So in this video, I'll explain you the basic comparison along with various parameters so that you can be able to understand how exactly things are there with both of this architecture. Let us see all those things step by step. So here, I have already explained my dear students how one human structure is there. See, when one human CPU is there, at that time, you will be having common memory for data and code. So here, when you interface memory, at that time, data and code that is stored in a common memory, right? And when it comes to Howard architecture, in Howard CPU, you will be observing data memory and code memory are different. So here, system bus that is also separate for data and code. Here, you can observe in terms of interfacing, complexity is less with one human CPU. With Howard CPU, complexity is more in terms of interfacing. Why? The reason is separate memories are over here. But here, my dear students, when you execute any program, at that time, data and code both cannot be accessed simultaneously in one human CPU. So you can say one human CPU are slow. Why? The reason is separate machine cycles are required for data access and code access. While with Howard architecture, data memory and code memory that is separate. So simultaneous access of data and code is possible as well as here interfacing complexity is more. There are few more basic things that you should know like data memory that could be read by CPU or write by CPU. That's why it should be RAM. You can see here bidirectional data is shown. So data memory must be RAM. But with code memory, CPU will read data of code memory, right? So you will be observing that is unidirectional over here. That is ROM only as we are just reading code over here with Howard CPU. Now I'm going to explain you the comparison with respect to various parameters. So when it comes to memory, you should know one human architecture that is having common memory over here. Right, data and code, code means program. You can say instruction as well, right? So that is stored in a same memory with Howard structure, data and program that is there with separate memories. Here, when we talk about memory type, then you should know here this common memory that should be RAM only. Why the reason is this code that we will be reading only. But in data, you may perform read and write operation so this should be bidirectional, right? Bidirectional means it will be RAM. In RAM, you can read as well as write the data. So you'll be observing with one human CPU, this main memory that will be RAM only. But with Howard CPU, you will be having two separate memories, data memory that is there with RAM and code memory that is there with ROM. Why the reason is with data, we will be performing read as well as write operation, right? So data will be bidirectional over here. So that should be random access memory with data and with code, you will be just reading data, right? It should be non-volatile. You cannot change the code. So code should be stored with ROM memory only. So here with Howard architecture, two separate memories are there. Here, when it comes to buses, then with one human structure, as we have common memory, common system bus is there. System bus means it includes address data as well as control signals. But with Howard architecture, separate buses will be there. Why the reason is here, separate signaling will happen with data and code memory as both are separate. So here you'll be observing control signals are more over here compared to this one human structure. So in terms of bus interface, Howard CPU is complex compared to one human CPU. Here when it comes to program execution, then you should know here this code execution that will happen 
serially. So one by one instruction will come over here inside CPU and it will execute instructions one by one serially. Here when it comes to access data then code and data access that cannot happen simultaneously. So serially code execution will happen along with that CPU will use data but both of these things are not happening simultaneously it will happen serially. But when it comes to Harvard architecture you will be observing execution of instruction will happen in sequence only but along with instruction as if CPU wants to access data memory then that is possible in parallel right so read and write data is possible in parallel with code execution so Harvard CPU that is faster why the reason is Harvard CPU will take less number of cycles as you have separate data and code memory simultaneous operation of code and data is possible it will take less machine cycles to execute program right but with one human complexity is less but it is slower here when it comes to code and data transfer then you can say that data or code that is getting executed in a single cycle both cannot get executed in a single cycle at a same time either you execute data or you execute code in a one cycle but with Howard CPU data and code both can get executed at the same time in a single cycle. So that is how Howard CPU is having advantage but disadvantage is what you need to have many control signals over here compared to one human structure. When it comes to control signals as I have told you here only one memory is there so less control signals are required but with two separate memories you need extra control signals like you see here with data memory, memory read and memory write control signals that we need to provide with code memory we need to provide memory read control signal right while well, with this one human structure you just need to have read and write control signals with this memory right here see separate memories are there so memory selection that is also an essential thing that we need to have so all those things that comes under control signals so you can say that one human is having less control signals compared to Howard architecture in terms of space you can say with one human structure you need less space why the reason is common memory is there but with Howard CPU you need to have more space why the reason is here two memories are there but along with that interfacing bus that is also increasing that's why you need to have more space. See it is not only about memory which acquires space those memories are interfaced via system bus. So bus is also acquiring space on board right. So if you have less components obviously less number of buses will be there but if you have more components then system bus complexity will increase that will require more space. Here when it comes to cost then obviously with one human structure cost is less with Howard structure cost is more as you have more facilities available over here but in terms of performance you can say Howard CPU is having higher performance compared to one human CPU. So that is how basic things are there and in future coming videos I'll be going to explain you some examples as well so that you can have more clarity related how one human and how our CPUs are there. Thank you so much for watching this video.